we are going to multiply parentheses 4x plus 2 raised to a third power. And before I show you guys the right way to do this, let me show you guys the wrong way to do this so that we don't do the wrong way. So, if you look at 4x plus 2 to a third power, the common mistake is the following. People tend to just distribute the third power into the parentheses and then just write down 4 to a third power, 64, x to a third power, that's x to a third power, plus 2 to a third power, that's 8. People tend to just do that, but this is not correct at all. We don't get to distribute the power into the parentheses because inside we have a binomial. We have a 4x plus 2. There's addition in the middle. Anyways, this is the correct way to do it. When we have a binomial inside of the parentheses raised to a third power, the third power means we are going to write this down three times. So we have 4x plus 2 times 4x plus 2 and times one more, 4x plus 2. And then we're just going to multiply this out. And to do that, we'll first multiply the first two out together. So let's see. So we take this, multiply this down. Let me just draw you guys the arrow with, with this. 4x times 4x, that's 16x squared. And then we continue. We see that 4x times 2, that will give us positive 8x. And then we are done with this 4x, we move to the next one, the 2 right here. Take the 2 and then multiply with this 4x, that's another positive 8x. And the reason I put the outer product right here and the inner product right here is so that we can combine like terms. 8x plus 8x, that will give us plus 16x. At the end, we have the 2 times this 2, and that will give us positive 4. As you can see, this is the result that we got from the first two parentheses, and we will still put this in the parentheses, because now we have to take this and multiply with that, 4x plus 2. So earlier I showed you guys the arrow method, this is the so-called FOIL method as well, but then here we have a 3 terms times 2 terms. To do this, I would like to show you guys the box method. The FOIL was okay when we have 2 terms and 2 terms, but then once the terms gets more, the box method will be better. It's easier for us to organize. So I'm just going to draw a box, and on the top, I'm going to you know, cut into 3 pieces. I'm going to put the first parentheses right here, 16, x squared plus 16x plus 4 and then I'll put down 4x plus 2 on the side and then we'll begin to fill in the boxes so to fill in this box what we do is we take 4x times 16x squared 4 times 16 that will give us 64 x times x squared that will give us x to the third power and then we continue we just go ahead and do this 4 times 16, that will once again give us 64, x times x, that's x squared, and then we have 4x times 4, that will give us 16x. And now let's do the bottom row. 2 times 16x squared, we have 32x squared, 2 times 16x, that's positive 32x, 2 times 4, that will give us 8. So, you see, for the box method, it's so much more organized, and now we can write down the answer. We still have to combine like terms. And to do that, it usually happens on the diagonals. So as you can see, this right here, they are both the x squared terms. And likewise for this, they are both the x terms. And then for this one right here, it's just 64x to the third power. Nothing else has an x to the third power, so that's just how it is. And then this and that, they are both the x squared terms, so we just combine 64 plus 32, that's 96, so we add them up, 96, and we keep x squared term. And then 16x plus 32x, that will give us plus 48x, and then at the end, this is the positive 8, so we have plus 8. So this right here will be the final result that we have for this product. There are two vocabularies that we have to know. First, what's the degree of our resulting polynomial? So, degree means that it's the highest power of x in the term of our resulting polynomial. Here we have x to the third power, x squared, x to the first power, and this is like x to the zero power. Degree is the highest power of x that we have, which in this case, we have x to the third power, so the answer is 3, the highest power of x in the term of our polynomial. Next, 
we also like to talk about what's the coefficient. Well, coefficient, you have to tell me what kind of the things you are looking for. How about let's say, what's the coefficient of x squared? So the word coefficient, it means that the number in front of the x squared. So in this case, we're talking about x squared, that's why we're just looking for the number in front of the x squared, and be careful with the sign. In this case, it's going to be past the 96, and that's the answer for it, that's all. Okay, so you should know what the degree is, and you should know what's the coefficient as well. That's it.